How's it going fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC and today we're doing an update on these bad boys. I'm so excited. That was one of my most viewed videos on the channel was my review, I guess, of these five inch Nipex pliers and the Victorinox Super Tinker put together to make the ultimate multi-tool. However, I have something even more ultimate to share with you that I've been testing for a year. So I do want to talk about it today. We're going to talk about these crusty things. <laughs> Guys, these are the extra small Nipex pliers. And after I did the review of the five inch, I ended up picking up the little tiny guys and really putting them to the test because in my mind, I was thinking, well, these are so good. I wonder if there's any compromise downsizing to this tiny little package here. I have been testing these for uh, over a year now, very thoroughly. They are absolutely disgusting. So um, these, these are incredible. I still have nothing bad to say about these. I think that if you use pliers for plier based tasks on a regular basis, I still highly suggest these five inch just because the handle's more comfortable. You do have more leverage and um, these are kind of more like real pliers in my opinion. You do have the grip, uh, you just, you know, you have more leverage, all of the things. But if you aren't, you know, yanking on things all the time and you're more or less looking for grip and just something small to get into tight spaces, um, these are fabulous. So what have I been using these for for the past year? First of all, everything. Second of all, leather work. <laughs> so as you guys know, I recently started up leather work as like my income, you could say. That is my income now is the leather work. And when you're doing leather work, you have a what's called a stitching pony and it kind of like clamps onto a table and it holds your piece of leather. Here, we're gonna use this for an example. This is the, the slip for these. You have a little what's called a stitching pony and it clamps and sandwiches what you're working on like this that way you can stitch back and forth right now uh i don't know if you guys have you know heard this before on the channel i've mentioned it a few times i've broken most of my fingers and my grip strength is really not the best so when i have my piece of leather in the stitching pony i actually use this as like my my little hand to pull the needle through because I just don't have the grip strength to like pull a needle through six hours a day on this little tiny thing and like it's I don't know it's a very small um hole that you're pulling the needle through over and over and over again and it's slippery and it's just like a bitch okay so these pliers I use all day for up to six hours just using these to pull the needle through, put it back through, pull it on the other side over and over and over and over again. As you can see, they're pretty disgusting. <laughs> so these were creating a, like a series of blister, you might not be able to see, sorry, hold on. A series of blisters on my hand. You can probably see like the calluses there, but what happened was because this stays put in my hand like this, literally like this all day long, over and over and over, um, right through here where you see the back part that was creating like a callus that you can see right there but when you're doing it for six hours straight it's like actually tearing your hand apart because here let me show you with this fresh pair they have knurling very aggressive knurling that is so when you just have it bare like this and you're you're pulling something through over and over for for six hours a day that knurling just like literally rips your hands apart um and then it was doing it over the top of my finger here as well because I use I use them like this to open and close. So I wrapped these in like medical tape. Obviously really should be replaced at this point because this is so disgusting. It was literally white at the beginning. <laughs> you can probably see right there. But um I had to add something to them cuz they're just it's too much after a while. But we've been using these for a very long time and for multiple months straight like all day every day and there's just nothing to complain about there's no wear there's no nothing uh these are fabulous little pliers and 
if, like I said, if you're not doing any crazy work with them, these little guys are definitely the way to go because you are truly really downsizing here. So check that out. You're really knocking at least an inch, maybe even an inch and a half or two off of the length. And then just the weight itself is such a difference. Uh, so if you don't do anything crazy, these are amazing. And like I said, I've been using these for a while now, but like every day, all day, repetitive pulling, repetitive tasks for months, every single day. Um, I also am using these as a duo because you guys know the Victorinox Super Tinker is my all time favorite EDC Swiss Army knife. I have tried everything you can imagine that they have made. And this one right here is the ultimate for me. I've had this for years. Um, this is, this has everything. So we, we're going to go over it, uh, just because I, I love it so much. So what do you get with the Super Tinker? Get the T, T drive Phillips. I would rather have an inline. This is not the most convenient thing to use, but whatever. Now my most used little tool is probably right there. And that's a pin. So you can buy these on Amazon for like a couple bucks. I think you get five in a little tiny bag. You can see I've used this to crap. It's bent a little bit. I've burnt the end for some interesting tasks <laughs> to sterilize it. That lives in the scales in here. Very useful for picking out slivers, popping blisters, uh, restarting SIM cards in phones. It's perfect. Next up, we have the parcel hook, which nobody likes, but I have used it before. Parcel hook. The only thing I really used this for was um, my, my dogs have these toys that are almost like a Kong on a rope and the, the knot will come undone and then the whole toy falls apart. Uh, so sometimes I use this to reach down into the toy and pull the rope through so I can like retie it and have it, you know, good to go. Other than that, I don't really use this a ton, but there are many, many things that you can use the parcel hook for. Um, Felix Emler, something like that. He has a bunch of Swiss Army mod videos and I'm sure other people do. That's just the only person that comes to mind right now. The leather all punch, whatever you wish to call it. I use this more for a drill, to be honest. This does work very well for drilling through wood. I've never actually used this to punch through leather and stitch something, probably because I have the proper tools for it. I mean, I literally do it as a as an income. So um, this I more or less use for drilling holes in wood, just dicking around. Honestly, nothing serious. And it it's not really even sharp anymore. But if you need to pierce through something, I mean, I have pierced holes through leather belts. The belt that I'm wearing right now, actually, my leather belt, um, when I lost all that weight, punched a new hole in it with that. Um, we do have the toothpick, which I use constantly. My, I always have stuff in my teeth. <laughs> um, we've got the tweezers, of course, again, pulling out slivers for the most part, or the occasional stray eyebrow hair, what have you. Then we've got all of those things on the top. So we have a little tiny pen blade Very, very small, but super useful. A lot of people tend to keep the pen blade like razor sharp and sterile, and then they use the main blade as their like beater blade. It depends for me. I tried having that mentality, and then when it, what ended up happening with me was like, I would make this blade go dull, and before I had time to touch it up, I would just start using this one, and then that would go dull, so. It doesn't really work for me, but I know a lot of people try to keep the pen blade like as sterile and razor, razor sharp as possible for emergencies. Then we've got that larger blade right there. Very nice. They're, they're both super thin and slicey, so they, they're just very efficient at any EDC tasks. We've got a big pair of scissors, which is again, probably my second most used tool. 
and this I use to cut my dang hang nails. I have, it, it looks like I bite my nails, but I don't. I never have in my life and I don't actually know how, but my fingers are like always jacked and I, like my cuticles get caught and then I have hang nails and all of the things. Um, so these I literally use to like cut my nails or my hang nails. <laughs> if I'm not around nail clippers, that's what I use these for the most. Obviously, you know, strings coming off of a shirt or, um, Ta tags on things, but scissors are something that I carry every single day. I really truly do use them, especially because with the leather work, when you, um, when you finish stitching, you've got to cut the thread. You have to cut it off of the spool too. So lots of, lots of cutting. Then we have the flathead. This has some, I think this has glue on. Yeah, that has some sort of glue from something. But you do have a flathead, bottle opener, um, wire bender, I, I guess. Uh, you can also use this as like a, a small or light duty pry bar or pry tool, I guess you could say. I've definitely done that with it. It looks pretty straight to me. Like that's obviously angled because it's supposed to be, but it doesn't look like it's bent at all through my, through my prying. And then lastly, we have the can opener that's like a little tiny screwdriver so you have a number of tools packed into this little tiny package that we just dropped <laughs> um is this the the lightest swiss army knife of course not is it the thinnest also no but i really do utilize every tool on here very often other than the parcel hook and you can turn the parcel hook into something else if you wish i'm pretty sure I want to say Zach in the wild turned a parcel hook on maybe his compact or something into like a full-blown Phillips. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he had like a Victorinox compact and he like altered this into a screwdriver. You could also maybe like cut with a Dremel cutting wheel or something that little hook off and make it into a some sort of piercing tool. I'm not really sure, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm sure there's something that you could do with this other than just leave it as a parcel hook if it drives you that crazy. So um, my duo every day for quite some time now, months and months has been this. Um, even at my old job, it was these little guys and I did the, the fixing of the toilets and everything and the fencing with these little guys. And I really didn't have any issues whatsoever. I don't believe I was ever like longing for the longer ones. So again, if you're just doing everyday tasks, these little guys are incredible. They do fit the slip that I've had for a really long time. Well, okay, that's a bad example. These are covered in tape, so hold on. If we take the OG ones, fits perfectly in that slip this is from lynch northwest and redeemed creations i've had this for years guys they still make them lynch northwest redeemed creations just a little cheap slip i think they're 30 bucks something like that um very nice molds right to your pliers which as you can see <laughs> you can literally see where the pliers have just sat in my pockets for eternity i do make my own slips for these now just just for variation, um, like this is a wonderful slip. It's held up really well over the years. But now, now that I do my own leather work, I ended up making like this little doodad here. And I make a whole bunch of other ones too, but now I have that. So they fit in the slips still. Um, yeah. I just wanted to make that video because like I said, I've been using these for so, so long and I still have people reach out being like, well, which ones would you choose? The the extra small or the the five inch? And I guess I would say the extra small if you're not in a trade where you genuinely utilize the length of these ones. So there's that. These are fabulous, guys. I think... No, I know. If you go to buy these on the Lynch Northwest thing, they also sell these Nibex pliers. They're an authorized dealer. So they sell these ones and these ones. I think they stamp them with the little feather from Lynch. But 
Um, if you want to pick up that duo, you can. I, I have no affiliation with them. I'm literally just letting you know. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Still my favorite multi-tool duo. I just think this is so much more useful for me than carrying a Leatherman just because the most important part of a Leatherman to me was always the pliers and that's where they <laughs> surprisingly fell short was that they were crap pliers most of the time. Um, and if I was carrying a model that didn't have the replaceable blades or anything, I would, you know, crunch through those and their, their needle nose. So they're kind of limited on strength and surface coverage. Whereas these, it's not even that big of a difference, but because these have like that flat bite, they just grip better. And I've just noticed that like, for, here's the biggest thing for me. The Leatherman, they don't have the pinhole, the toothpick, and the tweezers. Those are like a necessity for me. So I would rather have all of the tools from the Leatherman in my Swiss Army knife. And then when I, if I need the pliers, carry these little tiny pliers. Because these outdo the Leatherman pliers anyway. So why not just put these together to make a Leatherman type setup? but you have better grip strength with these and you have the toothpick and the tweezers and the pin and the everything of this, you know? And a thinner slice of your blade. So it's still my go-to duo after all of this time, guys, but I wanted to let you know because that, that video is, I think, my most viewed video on the channel and it was from when I was um, living in the camper. So I was like, let's do an update, but these are the absolute bomb, guys. I love these just super awesome little tool so um yeah that's all i have for you guys today <sighs> if you'll allow me go use your motherfucking shit learn how to sharpen your goddamn knives i love you guys so much i'll see you in the next video for real go use your shit learn how to sharpen your knives i'll see you guys so soon I love you so much, fam. Take care.